Hi everyone, I'm K2. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I paint chicken. A lot of paintings ideas are inspired by real life. In the ancient times, most of the people lived in a farm. Roosters, ducks, and some other farm animals are popular subjects in Chinese painting. I filmed this in a Monet garden in Japan. I was fascinated when I saw them fly. So I took the camera out and took some footage. Today I'll be using two colors, the orange, red, and ink, and two brushes. Let's get started. I'll start with the beaks using a mix of orange color and ink to get the brown color. And then I'm using the orange color and red to mix the shades of red for the comb and two wattles. These dots are the ears, the ear lips, and some decorations in that area. Then I'm splitting the ends of my paintbrush, dip some ink to paint the hackles. Then I outline the back and the wings. I'm switching to use a large brush, dip some ink to paint the main tail, which is the key features of this rooster. From time to time, I've got some questions about the paint brush that I use. As I show you at the very beginning, I've only used two brushes for all of my paintings that you've seen so far. The small one was made of wolf hair, which is stiff, and the large one was made of goat hair, which is soft. There are a lot of different names and there are a lot of fancy names of different type of brushes of different sizes and different mix of hair. But as long as you find the brushes that are made with the stiffer hair or the goat hair, you'll be okay. I've got some videos about the painting materials that I use. So you may check out some of my older videos from the very beginning. Or I'm going to go through the materials again in my next video. So please stay tuned. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and press the bell notification button for some future updates. You probably noticed that I'm using the large brush to paint this hand. It really doesn't matter. The small brush is easier to control, but as long as you master the large brush, it's actually the same to me for painting like large objects like this. And I prefer the raw feather or the raw outline that I can create with the large brush. That's why I'm using it but you can simply use this small brush to paint this. I'm painting a few chicken to complete a large family of six. If you want to see more details about how to paint chicken, I'll leave a link below to the videos that I've made before in the description below. So check it out if you're interested. Each of the chick consists of four large oval dots. It's the matter of control water and ink. When you press the brush onto the rice paper and create some nice fluffy dots. I'll touch up with tiny wings, use ink or orange color to paint the beaks and feet. The bellies are just fine lines of light gray color. I don't premix color. I just um, get some new ink each time, but diluted in water before I paint. There are a lot of different ways to paint roosters. You may use color, more ink, and create different compositions. Personally, I like the simplicity of freestyle Chinese painting. So I'll just use ink and two color to paint this. Timing is very important when adding the duck feather onto the little chicks because it is the second layer. When the first layer is already dried, the dark layer will not blend well. If it is too wet, the dark ink will just merge into the gray dots and it won't show well. That's why you see that I paint all of the backs at the same time and then after that, then I'll go back to the first one and then add another layer or add another feature. Now I'm going back to finish the rooster and the hen. Now I'm finishing the painting with the eyes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video. I'll see you next time.
care.